Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers to brains. In this video, we are going to show how to enable a radio button selection in data grid view in windows application. So let's open our project. In this windows application, which is named as windows app, we have a form form one. On this form one, we have dragged and dropped one grid data grid view from the data section we have named this grid view as dgv user details now let's once uh, run it here we have the data 10 records are there user id 0 to user id 9 username phone number and a select usually there is no radio button selection available in windows application.net so we have added a checkbox now it may happen that some user wants a single selection of checkbox and it should act as a radio button so for that we have done the coding for example i have selected row, row number four and when the next time i'm selecting row number five this one should get deselect so this got deselect so now let's see how this entire process is done we click on the side area and we land up in the load method inside this load method we have created a data table the data table we have added four columns user id username four and a select this select is of type boolean so it will be available for checking and unchecking it will act as a true or false then using the for loop we have added four rows sorry 10 rows into this data table and the fourth row fourth column select we have set as false so it will be initially unchecked and then we have binded the data table to the data source of the data grid view now to enable single selection of checkbox we have to go in the cell content click and double click so it will generate the cell content click method in the code behind in that we have taken the data grid view cell event argument object and got the row index the row index is the row number for which we have clicked the cell content that row index we have kept in a variable and then we are looping through all the rows which are available in the grid view we are looping from zero to the row count and we are checking whether the row index which the user has clicked is not equal to this if it's not equal then the value should be set to false that means it should be unchecked so only that row should be checked for which the row index we are passing in the cell content click method that's it using this for loop and using this data grid view rows dot cell select value equal to false we can uncheck other rows which are not needed so this radio checkbox will act as a radio button in this data grid view in order to get which checkbox or which row is selected we have to first check the column index e dot column index equal to equal to column index dot select so first we are getting the column index and then we are if that column index is equal to the column index of the boolean field the column index of the last column select then we are proceeding inside and then we are unable end edit we are stopping the editing of cell that means the user should not be able to edit the cell then we are checking the value of the boolean field if that row index we have already got from the e dot row index and we for that particular rows we are checking the cell select dot value if that it's true that means it is checked and then we are showing the message you selected row number by incrementing the index that means the as the row index starts from zero we have to show it by incrementing it to one so once again let's put a breakpoint so 
So as you can see in the data table, there are 10 records. Uh, so I'm clicking on the row number six. The row index is six. So it will go through all the rows. There are 11 rows and it will deselect all you selected row number seven so now let's go to row number five if i select this it will unch it will uncheck all the rows except the row number five so this way we can achieve the radio button functionality in data grid view so this was about adding a radio button or uh, checkbox as radio button in data grid view in c sharp net windows application thanks for watching for more videos you can subscribe our channel youtube.com slash 20 fingers 2 brains also you can visit our blog 20 fingers 2 brains blog dot blogspot.com thanks for watching